Hi, Stan Griffin, pastor of the Cornerstone Baptist Church of Exeter, and this is Garage Talk. So it occurred to me, it's been 40 years since I graduated high school. Graduated in 1980. My wife would have been three years old, but that's another story altogether. Every now and then I run into someone I went to high school with, and I look at them and I'm kind of surprised at how old they've gotten and how much they've changed. And I know when they see me, what bothers me is they're probably as shocked as I am of how I look. And I've noticed that my face, for instance, when I tell my kids no, once my face stops, once my, my head stops, my face keeps moving. And I used to be able to shave with one hand and you'd just shave like you normally would. And then after a while I noticed that my face, I have to use two hands now and hold my face in place while I shave because my face tends to move around, and it never used to do that. Things change, and I don't like change. I've noticed that about cars. For instance, we've, we've lined up some cars here as kind of a little educational study. We've got a 1969 car, and we have a motor's manual here that this is a complete repair manual for that car and in 1969. You just needed the one book, and you could look up about anything that you wanted to in that book. But this book doesn't apply to that one. you got to have a whole different book because things changed. And so we come over here to a 2005 car, and this is a book, and it'll cover some of the things, but you've got to have more things and so here we are with another book and this book doesn't apply to that car and this book doesn't apply to that one even though that's a Ford this is a Ford this is a Ford but they've all changed again and so you better have a different book for this one because this one doesn't apply to that you get what I'm saying do you see the change that's going on here it's very irritating. Down there you got points in the condenser and all that good stuff, contact sets they used to call them, and carburetors. Then they got away from carburetors and contact sets and they went fuel injected and solid state ignition and computers. Oh, don't get me on computers. They got computers for everything now and sensors, backup sensors, forward sensors, braking sensors. You the change that has taken place, can't they just leave it alone? Oh no, 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 that can't, we can't have that. No, 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 we gotta make sure that everything is changing all the time. I don't do well with change. Then you come over here, we got a different brand altogether. We got Chevrolets now. And this Chevrolet has a six liter motor and that Chevrolet has a 5.3 liter motor. They're nothing alike, completely different. And so you're constantly learning, constantly trying to figure out how to fix these things because the technology is going way faster than I can. I'm getting old. I graduated from from high school 40 years ago. It's hard for me to keep up with this stuff. So what they've got now to help you try to keep up with these vehicles is they have hotlines you can call. People sitting behind a desk looking at a computer screen. And if you have issues that you can't figure it out, you call them up. And these these networks, I won't, I won't identify them anyone. I don't want to throw them under the bus. But the sad part is, is that when you take your car to a mechanic today, I don't want to bum you out, but there's a chance he does not know how to fix your vehicle 
He'll call someone or plug it in or do those things. And there's a phrase in the industry we use, learn while you earn. In other words, you're teaching, you're paying for their education. It's just the way it is. It's hard to keep up because everything is constantly changing, whether it's your body, as you suck it in, and you know, you try to firm up and tone up, or your vehicle that keeps changing. Mechanics can't keep up. And it's somewhat of a frustrating process because as a man, you come to me, ladies, you want an answer? Of course I know the answer. I'm a professional. Well, chances are we don't always know the answer and we have to try to figure those things out because you want your vehicle fixed. And it occurred to me as I was thinking about all these things that there is one manual that's been around for a long time and there is no change in it. It was correct when it was written it's still correct now, and if you have a question and you go to it, it applies to every make and model of the human being. Strong, vibrant, American male. It applies to me. Beautiful, blonde, woman, wife. It applies to her. Chinese, Russian, you fill in the blank. You don't need a different manual for every individual. One manual, one God, applies to all. No change necessary. We used to sing a song in church. Yesterday, today, forever, Jesus is the same. All may change, but Jesus never. Glory to his name. So I wrote a song. I know you guys get excited when I do these things. So here we are. Yesterday, today, forever, Chevrolet has changed. Things may change, but God's the same. Oh, what a wonderful name. Ford and Dodge and Toyota GM, we will always complain. They will always give you fits. Now, ain't that a shame? Just remember, God is still the same. God never changes. His book never changes. You don't need a new manual for a new year. You need the old manual with the right answers. Won't always tell you what you want to hear, but it will tell you what you need to know. I like that. We serve a good God, and He doesn't change. Hey, thanks for watching. See you in church on Sunday, I hope.